we've been looking at quantitative data and the different displays for quantitative data. So what we want to do is now have a way to describe quantitative data or the different displays. So if we describe it or compare two different displays, there's a little phrase that we want to remember and that's called go socks. Now I'm not necessarily a Red Sox fan, but I like the little socks and we're going to use those. So what does go socks stand for? Well, the G in go socks stand for gaps. Are there any gaps in your data? We'll analyze something here in just a little bit, but are there any gaps in your data? Then we have occurrence. And with occurrence, basically what we're going to focus on is something called mode, and that is a measure of center. We'll get to that a little bit more uh, when we analyze. The next one is S, the shape of the data. We're really going to focus on the shape in just a little while here uh, or in one of our other videos, just depending on where we get to in this one. And then we have outliers. Outliers are bits of data that are uh, a lot different than the rest of the data. So if you've got a bunch of numbers in the 40s and 50s and then you've got another number that's in the 1000s, that would be an outlier. <clears throat> the next letter that we have in Go Sox is the center. We want to describe where is the center of the data. And then finally, the last one is the spread. Okay, so we have gaps, occurrence, shape, outlier, center, and spread. We're going to focus on each one of those individually over the next couple weeks and as you if you watch these videos in order you'll see that uh, we'll go over all of these 